origami with Miss Cynthia. Today I will show you how to make a hummingbird. Now stick around so I can share with you the summer reading secret code. Now let's get started. The supplies you will need are a sheet of paper eight and a half by eleven, a pair of scissors, coloring supplies, optional watercolors. Alright guys, once you selected your sheet of paper you want to work with, go ahead and bring the top corner downward to the edge of your page and we're going to crease right here. We're going to get a square, a square out of this sheet of paper and then go ahead and grab your scissors and you're going to cut off this rectangle side piece off just like this. Go ahead and open up your page. So now you have a crease going diagonally on your sheet of paper. We're going to form another crease going the opposite side. Just like this. Open up your page again and now we're going to fold top to bottom. Just like this. Open up your page again and then fold left to right, side to side here, just like this. All right, so when you open up your sheet of paper, we're going to focus. There's different um, sections to your sheet of paper. You can see some triangles, both of them together make a that diamond shape. So we're going to focus on that diamond shape um, here and the triangle right next to this we're going to bring it over just like this and then the shape right next to it you're going to fold it the opposite way and we're going to do the same thing to the other side so we have this diamond shape here there's a triangle next to it go ahead and bring it downward like this and that shape right next to it this triangle you're going to swing it back over just like this and we're going to press the entire page down. This way you end up with a diamond shape. All right, so now we're going to do a kite fold. Go ahead and bring one of the edges here to that middle crease, left and right. And we're going to crease the edges here. And then you're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. So flip your page over and we're going to kite crease just like this. All right, now the top, go ahead and bring it downward and just crease there. We're going to use this as a guide later. Flip it over and do the same thing just like this. Now what we're going to do is open your left and right and you're going to open up your page up until that crease we created earlier and you're just going to follow your creases by creasing your page towards the middle just like this and we will repeat this on the opposite side so we're going to bring this down flip over and we're going to do the same thing Go ahead and open it up and then we're going to crease just along our guides here that we created earlier just fold everything to the inside all right just like this and we end up what looks like a kite Okay, so now the back side of our kite, what we're gonna do is swing this over to the top and we're going to fold it right in the middle. So just make sure this um, triangle that connects to your page is right in the middle. So go ahead and fold it right through the center. Just like this. All 
All right, now we're going to focus on our head. So you've got to make sure that we're working with this. There's this side here that doesn't connect to anything. And then you have some flaps here on the other side. So this is what will be our wing later. This is the hummingbird's body and then the wing also. All right, so now what we're going to do is you're going to pinch somewhere here in the middle. Just pinch that downward. It's, it's going to be almost a reverse fold, but we're not gonna reverse it all the way back up. So just push that down to the middle and pinch it just like this all the way through. Okay, now on these little flaps here on the top, you're gonna bring it downward and just flatten it out like this. And then we're going to work on the top and the bottom. We're going to swing this bottom portion towards that middle crease and do the same thing to the top. So it ends up looking like, like this. All right. And now we're going to fold that in half. Just like this. And that is our hummingbird head. And now the wing part. So we have a first wing here. There's a crease right in the middle of our hummingbird that we're just going to Crease it up into that middle crease, just like this. And then we're going to flip our friend here and we're just going to fold the other wing. I'm gonna put this towards the back actually, just like this. Okay. And here is your hummingbird. Let me add an eye to him. Now, I'm gonna use something different. Um, you can use whatever, um, oops, whatever um, coloring supplies you'd like. I'm going to play a little bit with some water colors. You can use crayons, markers. Um, you can use whatever you like. I just thought um, this will be a little bit different. And you can use different styles of paper too. If you have a paper that's a little bit more absorbent, then your watercolors will, will spread a little bit more, kind of like a, a coffee filter. As long as you start off with a square sheet of paper, we are good to fold. All right, let's change up the color a little bit. You could add some feathers if you have some feathers lying around. Add some feathers to your bird. All right, let me bring one in that I had already finished. And I use watercolors for that, but again, you can use whatever whatever supplies you you have. And there you go, guys. There is your um, hummingbird origami, and I really hope you have fun as much as I did. And now for our summer reading code, it is O Watch Eleven. It can be entered at www.maricopacountyreads.org and redeem for additional points. Don't forget to send in a picture of your masterpiece to library at buckeyeaz.gov for additional 15 points. You can also bring it along to show staff at your library or the bookmobile for an extra 25 points. It's that simple for extra points. If you haven't signed up for the summer reading program, it is not too late. The program runs from June 1st and ends on August 1st. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next week for more origami fun. Bye!
Thank <laughs> you.